Hi guys, this is Shikha and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be all about my summer reading list. I have five books over here and I also ordered one more which is arriving next month. So I'll talk about that as well. These are all non-fiction books because that is what I'm into currently. I used to read um, fiction books back in college and then somehow I stopped and yeah, it's been like five, six years maybe more than that since I have read any fiction books so if you are someone who is into fiction books let me know in the comment section down below I'm always looking for um, recommendations and I'm gonna link every book which I'm talking about in my description box down below so feel free to check okay so the first book I have today is this one this is Angel Words Visual Evidence of How Words Can Be Angels in Your Life and if you guys have watched my previous vlogs you guys know that I have completely read this book and it is very very easy and simple reading so this book basically states that words have power and if you choose um, positive words in your daily conversation that can definitely impact your life. So the author and her son did an experiment on two category of words. First category was positive and loving words and the next category was negative words. So what they found out was when they were saying positive words the graph was tall and when they said negative words the graph was um, very tight and constricted. So since this book shows you the graph of both positive and negative words. I feel like this book definitely motivates you to choose more um, positive and high energy words. This has a list of different phrases which we use in our daily conversation and also a list of alternatives which we can use. So for example, um, kill two birds with one stone. So instead of that, we can say feed two birds with one handful of bird food. And that makes a lot of sense. Like think about it. Saying kill two birds with one stone sounds so different as compared to saying feed two birds with one handful of bird food and another one which i personally used to use a lot was i have been dying for this moment and instead of that i can say this i have been living for this moment and one more was this taste like shit so instead of that we can say this has a flavor I am not accustomed to and I feel like this sounds so much better as compared to the previous one. This book definitely made me think or I would say I started paying attention to the words which I use and I feel like when you know something you can't ignore it. So yeah love this one very very easy read and you can finish it within a day I believe. Next up I have Emith why most small businesses don't work and what to do about it. So this book is a must read book if you are someone who is um, starting their own business or have their own business or maybe planning to do their own business in future. And I haven't read this book fully. I have read few pages and the author here talks about a lady named Susan and how she started her own business of pie baking because she absolutely loved it. And in the process, she got so frustrated and overwhelmed and she started to hate the smell of pies and to me that was so relatable <laughs> um so yeah i'm pretty sure that this book has a lot to offer and also here author talks about how you can work on your business and not in it and honestly i am definitely working in my business currently so that's the reason why i seek help and i feel like this is the best way to learn if you are someone who is starting their own business and honestly if you are someone who has their own business or you are maybe like trying to do something you know that it has a lot of moving paths and it gets so overwhelming sometimes because when i started i had no idea what i was doing i just jumped into it got over overwhelmed, cried, got frustrated um, and then started all over again. So that is my journey. But now I'm trying to learn from experts and implement what they are saying. And I have gained so many little, little information from different business book, which has like a greater impact. Building systems is one of the best things which you can do for streamlining the whole process. And to be honest, I'm working on building system from quite sometime and I fail like 100% of the time I'll build something and something will fall off and again I'll build something and something goes wrong yeah so it's a cycle but I'm hopeful I'll find something so moving on to next next up I have this book called as Indian Superfoods and this is by Ruchita Divekar and she's a well-known Indian dietitian I got this book because I absolutely love food and I love reading about it and especially when it comes to Indian food there is a lot of myths attached to it so I feel like it's a best idea to learn from expert itself. And initially I came across her videos on YouTube and I binged 
watched her videos and it made a lot of sense to me so i thought of getting this book and see what she has to say all about indian superfoods so this book has a list of different indian superfoods and how you can use it what they are good in and so many other stuff i haven't started reading it yet and i'm super excited about it so she is basically an advocate of eating your local food and also she talks about how um the food which is grown locally and cultivated in your own region can be really nutrient dense and she also talks about different food combinations and so many interesting stuff even if you are someone who is non indian or from different nationality or ethnicity i definitely recommend this book because india is a land of ayurveda and um ayurveda has lot of different herbs and medicinal plants which can be really beneficial for maintaining your health and for different healing purposes next up i have this book called as soul numbers soul numbers help readers break down and decipher the message behind any number sequence and i have read this book i think i I'm halfway through and it has a lot to offer. If you are a summer interested in numerology, I highly highly recommend this book because the formula in here is really simple, very very easy to use and you can just input your numbers and get the results and personally I have tried it for myself and the readings were insanely true like i would say 99% true and i have done it for a few of my friends also and they were shook because it was very very close to what their personality is um so yeah i definitely recommend checking this book out it's super interesting and i feel like it's always a good idea to know a little bit about yourself next book i have is this one this is the automatic millionaire a powerful one step plan to live and finish rich so this is such a classic personal finance book and if you are someone who is interested in personal finance i am pretty sure you must have heard about this one i keep hearing about this one and finally i got a chance to get it and read it this book also has lot of mixed reviews online but then i thought of testing it myself and see what i feel about it and i know that lot of my audience is in their late teens or maybe early 20s and if you are someone who haven't started with any personal finance book i highly highly recommend starting with it because i feel like it's such an important topic and when it comes to personal finance we haven't been taught anything in school which is I do not have any words for that but then yeah you need to start with it and I promise you'll thank yourself later in life personally I have read other personal finance book as well and it really helps in changing your mindset when it comes to money some of my favorite personal finance book are the millionaire next door rich dad poor dad total money makeover by dear branse uh and think and grow rich these four books are absolutely amazing and it has lot of different things to offer definitely recommend it and i'm going to link everything in my description box down below so yeah check it out and the last book for today is untamed which i currently do not have i have ordered it and it will be arriving um next month um and this book was recommended by you guys over my instagram so i thought of giving it a shot and it has insane amount of reviews on amazon i believe it's more than 25000 so i'm super pumped about that all right you guys so these are all the books which i'll be reading this summer let me know what books you are reading or any of your favorite books in the comment section down below i'm always looking for new recommendations and yeah if you like this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified on my next upload and also don't forget to check my instagram out i share a lot of fashion lifestyle and healthy mindset content over there so let's be friends over there as well and yeah i will see you guys next time till then Bye.